Question 2. Open bearing. The figure shows the details of an open bearing. Assemble these parts correctly and then draw its following views to scale 1 is to 1. A. Front view, right half in section. B. Top view. C. Side view as viewed from left. Write heading and scale used. Draw projection symbol. Give 6 important dimensions. So now in this, if you see that your body, which is made up of cast iron, and it is one in number, like, and scale one is to one. So that means front view, top view, and LHS view. So if you see this front view, now see that we have this cavity to reduce the weight. So they have in top view also, as well as in side view. Then they have given this slot for this bolt, right? So dot line for that, and dot line over here. Then they have this, this part. So that also we have a dotted line over here. So this front view is clear, right? It is like this. See this. This is the 3D part. So this is the slot. Then they have a U shape, right? See this kind of a bearing is generally used for linear and zigzag shaft. And where shaft is rotating at very slow speed. It's not very high speed shaft. No slow speed. So where shaft is rotating at very low speed. So that time they go for this kind of a bearing, open bearing. Then if you see this bush. Right? It is made up of none metal, uh, scale 1 is to 1, then we have front view, top view and side view. So if you see this, in 3D it is, it is appearing like this. Now what we will do, we will keep this on this. Right? So see, this slot will fit over here. If you check the dimension, it, it is going to fit over here. And the shaft will rotate over here. So now what we will do, after this we will start with 2D. First we will draw front view, top view, side view and then we will insert the bush and then we will do Hatching. So in this arm, first we will draw this front view. So first we will draw layout, front view, top view, side view. Then we will take this center point and we will start with this radius 21. So first we will draw radius 21. Right? So first we will draw this part, then we will given radius 6. So again we will take 6 from here, 6 from here. And we can draw this radius 6 over here. Same way, we can take 6, 6 from both the sides and we can draw this radius 6. Then again, yeah, when, uh, so that we will radius 5 over here. So again, we take 5, 5 on both the sides and we draw around over here. See this? Semi-circle, like quarter circle. Here also we take 5, 5 on both the sides and from there you can draw this. So first we will draw this part. Then they have given this slot. See this, 4 ever. This is 8, 8 on both the sides, and this is 4. So, what do we will do? We will take 8, 8 on both the sides, and 4 ever up. So, that will be dot. Now, this is for cavity. So, they are going to remove the weight. They are going to reduce the weight of this object. So, they are going to reduce it like this. So, if this is the bearing, right? See this is U shape. I'm, I'm going upside down so you can see. So this portion they are going to remove. Now inside they are going to remove some part so to reduce the weight. Then they have given this bolt. So it is easier to draw top view first. So first after drawing this much we will draw top view. Now in top view we can draw. See this is straight line, right? So that we can project straight. We got this lines. Right? After that, the entire box is done. So this will be the entire box. Now let's see if I draw. Just like this. So we have drawn top view. Now we need to draw this slot as well as dotted line for this. So first we will draw a slot. How much is this? 28. So we take 28 from here and take center. Now they have given a block of 24 by 16. So from here we will take 8, 8, right? 12, 24. Now. So from here we will take 12, 12 and we will go up by 8, down by 8 and we will draw rectangle first. After drawing rectangle, if you see how much is this radius? 8, now. 
say total height is how much? It's 16. So what we will do, we will go 8 inside and from that point we can draw radius 8. From here you go inside by 8. See from here you go inside by 8 and you draw radius 8. So that's how you'll be able to draw this oval shape. Same we will do it here also. See why we do this? So we get more possibility in terms of fixing this bolt. We will get almost 3 possibility or more than that. But, uh, but if you provide only with one circular part, so then it will be a less possibility. So at times it becomes a problematic. So that's why they get oval shape for foundation movement. Okay? So this much is done. Now we need to draw dotted. Dotted for this. So this what we are drawing is cavity, which they have removed from now to reduce the weight. So weight, weight, at times weight is an issue in assembly. They always see how to remove weight. So that's why they do this. So now we are done with top view. You can do it down. You can draw these lines down. Right? Now we'll see. We can draw an axis line also. Now we'll see side view. So now if you see side view, you'll see this rectangle and this rectangle. See this. There are two rectangles. So <coughs> this part, then cavity. This part and this dot. So we are done with front view, top view, and side view of this part one, which is body. Now we'll see bush. Now if you see this bush, this part. So this we are going to put it over here. If you, if you see the dimension, this is radius 21. And over here they have given this radius 21. So this will merge with this. So when I will insert this, this is how it will look. So first we will draw. Radius how much it is given? 7, 15. Right? So first I will draw radius 15. Now see, if I draw this, so then this will become dotted. This you can't see. Right? This radius 21, and then they have a radius 27. Right? So if, if you want me to draw it, see this. It will be like this. It's like this. So this part will go away. So that's why we have drawn dotted. So this is the only change in front view. In top view, how it will change? If you see top view, see it is like this. How much is this? 60 and 66. So it is 12. So 60 minus 12 is 48. And this is what we have is 48. So it will fit exactly when you will draw, right? You need to project from here, see. The sixth part, up and down. Now this part, so this will have full line. This will have full line, right? So what will change? This will become dotted. The earlier what was dark, so now it will be dotted. Because when you see from the top, see when you see from the top, you can't see this line. So that's why this will become dotted. This will be dotted. Alright. So we are done with top view as well. Now we'll see side view. So now inside you, when you see from the side, see you will see only the 6mm, 6mm on side. So you project from here. Right? Project from here. It will be somewhere. So this dimension you need to check. If you, if you check, how much is this? 27, right? From top, 
from here 21 and then 27 and how much is this 42 so 42 minus 15 would be how much 42 minus 15 would be um, 27 right so this will coincide with this if you check this this will coincide with this will be like this and then they have a dotted line so the dotted line of radius 15 so that I can draw and you can show axis line so we are done with front view top view and side view of this open line so in this sum first we will draw these two lines which one of them in the last part. See this. First, we will draw this. Right? So now we are done with front view, top view, and side view. Now we will draw a right half in section. Front view, right half in section. So first, we will draw a continuous line. Right? Continuous line AA. So we will cut like this. So it will appear like this. See this. So when you cut, this is the body and this is the bush part, right? See, it will be like this. So what, what will happen in this? This will go away. This will become dark. Right? The bush part. The entire thing will become dark. This will be dark. So we have done front view, right half in section, top view and left hand side view. So now if you see in this, so what we need to do, we need to write front view, right half in section, top view, left, left hand side view. We need to show this, which is part 1, part 2. We need to write body, bush, CI, CI that means cast iron, GM, gun metal, quantity 1-1. One, one. We need to draw the symbol. We need to write scale 1 is to 1. We need to write assembly of open bearing, cutting plane line, and six important dimensions. So we are done with assembly of open bearing.